What up, world? It's your boy Anthony Mosley, aka Jig Fit, aka Dynamite, aka Eight Pack Shawty, aka Mr. Right on Time. Coming at y'all with a new video today. Um, I want to hit y'all with a hot topic that is just blowing up social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, blowing up the news waves. All the athletes got an opinion. All the celebrities, all the entertainers got an opinion on this subject. And if you read the description, you already know what it is. We're going to talk about these big baller brand Zotus. Um, signature shoe of Lonzo Ball. Former UCLA basketball player for one year. Now he's entering the draft. Um, a lot of people... Seem to have a problem with this shoe um, because of the price. The price is $495, uh, which I think is extreme. But I'll tell you why. And I'll tell you why I also do not think that the price is extreme. Now, I think a lot of people are, are going crazy over this because of LeVar Ball, Alonzo's daddy, who's just, he's, he's a bit much. Yes, he, he's a bit much. He's a handful to deal with. And if you pay attention to any basketball, you know, like, he's the head of Big Baller Brand. I salute him for starting his own brand, being his own boss. That's what he should do. That's what Master P did when he came into the game. Master P created his own lane. He made his own money. That's what you should do because anytime you're with a company, guess what the company going to do? They going to take the majority of that and leave you with the breadcrumbs. So if you start your own business, guess what? You can get all the bread that you want to yourself. So the reason I do not have a problem with this price is because I'm gonna put y'all up on game real fast. The value of something is the value that you placed on it. So if you see a $495 plain shoe with some plastic on the back, some clear plastic on the side. If you think $495 is nothing for that, by all means, break bread, homie. But me, I ain't spending more than maybe, maybe $50. $50 is the most I would ever spend on a shoe. Because to me, shoes are not that valuable. I don't have the desire to prove anything to anyone. I don't have a desire to look fly. And $495 shoes, I don't feel like me wearing shoes that cost $495 is making a statement that I feel like I need to make. You know what I mean? Um, Big Sean had this line in one of his songs. He said, I pull up in a Honda Civic, pulling bitches. It ain't about the car. It's the nigga that sent it right there. So <laughs> when people who lack certain things, they try to make up it with certain things. So, I mean, if you're a millionaire and $500 is nothing, you pair of shoes, by all means, buy it. But... As from a business standpoint as well, if you're running your own company, you have to do marketing, you have to do distribution, you have to get the materials, you have to have labor, you have to have a lot of stuff that go into making this this shoe. And if you're not backed by anything, all of that's coming out of pocket. So your bottom line may not be as high as you think it is. Once your, your return on your investment may not be as high as people think it is. Now, also, a lot of people... Um, buy shoes by Gucci, Louboutin. Um, I don't know any of. I I don't I don't buy the expensive shit. I'm not I'm not in a position to spend a thousand dollars on a belt or shirt or nothing. I don't understand why anyone would when you can get a twenty five dollar shirt or ten dollar shirt. I'm not into brands anymore like I used to. I got Miss Ivy Crew. I think this Ivy. This is Ivy Crew. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm all about function because I think I'm a cool ass dude. And you know what I'm saying? I can do my thing in whatever I'm wearing. Now, I don't go straight Walmart with my stuff, you know what I'm saying? But I do go TJ Maxx. I go Burlington Coat Factory. I go Marshalls. I go Clearance Rack. That's what I do because that's the value that I place on clothes. Um, also, like Shaq had a problem with the shoes. Shaq was like, you can't charge kids $500 for these shoes. He is not charging kids $500 for these shoes. This is his price point. His price point is $500. If you make the decision to spend $500 on some shoes, that is on you. If your kids ask you for some $500 shoes, you need to parent your kids and teach them the value of shoes. Let them know that this don't mean nothing. Just because I spent $500 on some plain ass 
almost Kobe looking ass shoes that that don't make you a better person. So as a parent, that's something you need to explain to your kids. You need to explain to your kid financial responsibility that you should never spend five hundred dollars on some shoes when you can buy twenty dollars shoes. Okay, maybe oh let's go fifty dollars fifty dollars shoes. You can get a whole outfit and go on a date with drinks and an Uber ride and probably still have some money left over for with $500. So parents got to teach their kids responsibility. Shaq had those cheap shoes. Also, shout out to um, Stephon Marbury, who also had the Starberries, who wasn't really that expensive. As for me, I never bought any Jordans. I did buy one pair of Jordans. They were on clearance, and I spent like $35 to $40 on them. I don't care about brands. If that's what you're into, that's on you. At the same time, also, if I think LeVar, his goal is to be a billionaire. He's in this to make money. So with this, he's getting free advertisement. He's getting free advertisement from me right now because I'm sitting here talking about it and you're watching it. So now you're probably going to do like I did. Go to the website, www.bigballerbrand.com and check out the shoes while you're there you're probably gonna look at the other stuff and see if you like it or not and maybe make a purchase so lavar might be a mad genius who's out here playing us all and probably sitting back at home laughing at us because we're talking about it but what if question for y'all what if some of his proceeds from his shoe sales went to like a charity or something would you spend um five hundred dollars on it then if you had it See, it makes a difference. If it, it, it increases the value a little bit, or even if it was made out of recyclable material, something like that, you know, that will also help. But me, I mean, I, I want him to do his thing. I'm not hating on anybody who has their own business. It's all about supply and demand. If you're supplying something that people demand, they gonna buy it regardless. Some people just buy it as a as a status symbol. I got five hundred dollars that I spent on these shoes. Won't catch me in them. I almost it was one pair of shoes I seen. It was by Taft, T A F T. It was like some handmade boots. They were like two fifty, and they were like beautiful. And I like dress boots, so I was like, I might if I hit the lotto or went to a casino and won some money. I had some extra two fifty. I might spend two fifty on those boots. But at the end of the day, the one piece of advice that I always give people is do what makes you happy. If buying some $500 shoes or the sandals, which are $220, the hoods, the hoodies are like $38 and the hats are like $60. So if that kind of stuff makes you happy deep down inside, you know that's what makes you happy. I say, do you, brother. Do you, babe. Do what makes you happy. Don't let nobody stop you. If his business is what makes him happy, he needs to run his business. And that's all I got to say about it. I hope I'll put y'all up on game. So don't just, just try to knock somebody down for their hustle. And don't just run out to get the shoes just because other people are doing it. I mean, do what makes you happy. Do what makes you feel good in society. In society. Do what makes you feel good in society. I can't do what makes you feel good and sit. <laughs> do what makes you feel good inside. And if you have a dream, chase your dream until you catch your dream and just be successful. And that's my opinion on it. You know, like, share, comment, uh, subscribe. Please subscribe so I can drop more videos. Do y'all thing. And as always, thank you for watching. Hope you was informed, and I hope hope I put you up on game. Peace.